This video will demonstrate simple extractions using forceps. The video is produced and copyrighted by the Arthur A. Dugoni School of Dentistry at the University of the Pacific in San Francisco. First, a periosteal elevator is used to break the gingival fibers so that the forceps can be placed below the CEJ. This is done all around the periphery of the tooth to be extracted. It is usually easiest to do with the smaller end of the periosteal elevator. An upper universal forceps number 150 is chosen for this extraction. The forceps is seated with strong apical pressure to expand crestal bone and to displace the center of rotation as apically as possible. Now buccal and lingual pressure is applied to expand the buccal and lingual bone. If there is a lot of resistance to this pressure, the expansion of bone can be facilitated by applying and holding the pressure for a few seconds. The majority of the force should be applied in the direction where the bone is thinnest. In the real clinical scenario, a dental elevator is often useful before using a forceps. When extracting a first upper molar, be careful with the pressure not to fracture the often very thin APCs. For extractions of molars, a cowhorn forceps can be used. The upper cowhorn comes in a right and left because the buccal part of the forceps is pointed to engage the tooth into the bifurcation. This is especially useful when the crown is destroyed. The upper cowhorns are number 53R and 53L. Other instrument manufacturers will have the same forceps called 89 and 90 for right and left respectively. A slightly different design of the lingual part of the forceps can be seen in the instruments called 88R and 88L. The technique of the extraction with cowhorn can be the same as with other forceps, but in addition, especially in the lower jaw, it can be useful to squeeze the handles during which vertical extraction forces is applied as a result of the forceps pushing away from the crestal bone. When extracting teeth with one mostly circular root without deviations, such as the upper canines, it can be useful to apply a rotational force during the extraction. This concludes the video from the Arthur A. Dugoni School of Dentistry at the University of the Pacific in San Francisco.